What up, what up, what up? Brand new week, baby. TGI Friday, baby. We got the playoff game five at Dodger Stadium, man. We got game five at Cleveland tomorrow also. So it's gonna be real good in MLB. New York Mets, New York Yankees. Next series. Handle their business like they should have. You know what it is. New York everything, man. Throw it up, man. Hold on, let me get some sights. We'll get a couple sights to join our beautiful show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doug is better in the building. What's going down, baby? The Philly kid. I know you upset your Phillies lost. But don't say I ain't warned you, all right? Angelo in the building. Few texts in the building. Missouri, Kansas City, LES. You know what it is, baby. Let's get it, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You already know what it is, baby. Ball game, niggas. It's ball game. Yankees and Mets. Ball game. Next series, baby. Next man in the building is always, baby. Ready to fire away, man. You better be ready. TGI Friday to everybody, man. I hope everybody's gonna have a great weekend. Eat good. Chill with your woman. Do what you're supposed to do, man. Don't be going to clubs or nothing. I'll leave that shit for the 18-year-olds. Yeah, yeah, I hear you, dog. I, I like your energy, man. But I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I'm gonna have to have a special with the Phillies because they too good of a team not to be, like, winning something. That the why they got with Harper and all that. This should be no longer than a five-year period. Right now, I think it's a three with Harper. Maybe three, four. So they better win within the five-year window because if not, they might not win. They haven't won, I think, since they beat the Rays. Something like 210-ish. No homie to it. I know the Yankees, I think, won a 209. So it was right around that time. So we both need a World Series. But I'm glad my team was alive. We got, ooh, the building, baby. No matter how much he stay away, he's always fucking with the Al York Sports Show, baby. Wow, ooh, in the building, baby. Wow, I think you're the only one that got this shirt, man. I might need to get you the hat, man. Yeah, because I can't find my own shirt. Nigga, I don't broke down my whole closet looking for that shirt, dog. I can't find it, man. Real talk. All right, man. Let's get to that time. I got X-Man on deck. Let me lower this right here. Shout out to everybody. Everybody tuning in. You know how we do it. Our uh, TGI Friday, no drinking and driving, it's the fucking law, and uh, no domestic violence, too. I might as well start throwing that out there, because it's a lot of domestic still going on, man. Like, like, motherfuckers don't understand that you can't put hands on a girl. You know the girl know that. You know she's setting you up, and you're going for the booby trap. Man, you got rats that know about mouse traps. And we human beings, and we still falling for those bullshit, bullshit-ass traps them girls are putting out there. Man, just keep it moving, man. Keep your freedom, man. If you have to hit a bitch, man, just keep it moving and break up with her, man. Because the consequences are not worth it, man. Shout out to my man Steve Levine. We got my man Wally that just jumped in. Wally, you just missed something important that just said. You might want to remind it. It has to do with domestic violence, man. Make sure you rewind it, man. Let's go to the message of the day, guys. Don't let this law, you motherfuckers, turn you out. Let me explain to you what I mean by that. If motherfuckers is disloyal to you, you need to cut them off. Because if you don't cut it off, you're going to develop their style. It's going to rub off on you. Then you slowly but surely, the loyalty that you got, the integrity that you got, you're going to surrender it because of a couple motherfuckers. Just change your circle, man. Either you fuck them up, you cut them off, but you don't fuck with it. Because if you fuck with it, you're going to grow into it, and then it's going to damage your integrity. Move on. Don't let this law, you motherfuckers, turn you out, man. Don't give up your integrity for nobody. Your conscience, your soul, your integrity. Keep it, man. Let's start this motherfucker, man. Al York Sports. Truth. TGI Friday, motherfuckers. Keep your integrity. 
Don't let them bitch ass niggas turn you out. Be who you be, unless you turned out already. If you turned out already, this don't apply to you. You feel me? Or if you one of the main niggas doing it, this don't apply to you. But if you got integrity, a great soul, a great person, don't let nobody, no thing change you, man. There's people out there for you. You just got to seek and you will find. I promise you, I have to come out to the West Coast to find that. Not that I didn't have a couple on the East Coast, but all the good people left and left me with the devils out there. And I'm making excuses. I'm keeping it real. I was battling every day. I don't have to do that no more because I found what I needed to find, which is a peace of mind. And y'all can do the same shit because we all bleed the same shit. Ain't nobody different, man. Let's start this motherfucker, man. Go to YouTube, like, share, subscribe. Hit your notification bell. Uh, shout out to the East Coast, West Coast, Midwest, Las Vegas, New York City, LES to the death. Nueva York, Nueva York. Shout out to Sam the Man, the shooter. Price Tech Entertainment and Media. Few Techs, my man Mech One Beats. Al York Sports, Sports Book Reviews on YouTube. Make sure you enter YouTube. Watch the series. I got the series. And last but not least, if you guys need your jerseys, I got the dude with the jerseys, man. Look up Rookie Vargas on Facebook, and he can get you anything you want, any team you want. And I like what I like about Rookie, he work deals. So if you want to work deals, he's your guy. So make sure you check up with Rookie Vargas on Facebook. He doesn't have his website yet, but the guy's a good dude, man. He showed me love on multiple occasions. Jerseys, Rookie Vargas. Let's start this show. Shout out to B4 in the building, the champ, who always comes in late because he don't want me to call him the champ next to everybody. But you're the champ, though. That's the bottom line. Former New York Jets defensive tackle, Abdul Salam, a member of the SAC Exchange with Gastineau, Klecko, Marty Lyons, and Salam, passed away at the age of 80 on Tuesdays, battling multiple health issues. A uh, Salam, matter of fact, I'm lying. Shaq has changed. It was in the 80s. He died 71 years old. Let me correct it. I fucked up. 71 years old, but he was in the Saxon uh, exchange in the 80s. Rest in power to Abdul Salam, one of the top four from the Saxon exchange for the New York Jets. Other news. Give me a minute, guys. Big fight tomorrow. Uh... And the Kingdom of Arena, that's way out there. You already know where that shit is at. Uh, Dubai, some shit out there. I, I don't know exactly where that could be London, but it's way out there. This fight's going to start at 4 o'clock. You got Dimitri Bivol, 23 0 with 12 knockouts. Dimitri Bivol is the guy that beat Canelo, gave Canelo his second loss after Mayweather gave him his first. Versus Arthur. Better be who's 20 and 0 with 20 knockouts. Fights at the Kingdom Arena. The line for the fight, if you like Dimitri, is minus 125. If you like Better be, it's plus 105. I would explain what that meant to y'all. And the over under rounds is 10 and a half. It got the over minus 200, so the odd makers are thinking this fight is going the distance. And then you got the under at 10 and a half plus 150. Big fight tomorrow. Make sure you check this out. I would like to see Benedivez fight either of these two guys or the winner of one of these two guys. These guys can fight. Other news. New York Jets finally fired coach Robert Salem. Salem, who promised multiple championships, obviously didn't deliver, was a promising coordinator with the 49ers. Did a hell of a job with San Francisco. But as a New York Jet coach, went 20 wins, 36 losses. And last year, you can't really blame him because Aaron got hurt on the first play. So that would have changed. That, I mean, they would have probably won six, seven more games with Aaron Rodgers, you know, instead of Zach Wilson. Because Zach Wilson was stinking up the joint. And uh, like I said, they fired him. Zero playoff appearances. And the Jets got a 13-year drought. And he, he, he promised multiple championships. 
and didn't deliver nothing with a 20 and 36 record. A lot of Jet fans are extremely happy that this happened. Other news, the Houston Texans have placed wide receiver Nico Collins on injured reserve uh, sideline for four games. Now, Nico's the top receiver, led with 567 yards. CJ Stroud and company with Dell. Uh, they got Diggs over there. You know, they deep. The Texans are deep. But Collins was day number one statistically. Now, he's going to miss the next four games due to hamstring issues. But he will be back. And last but not least, the New Orleans Saints quarterback, Derek Carr, suffered an oblique injury. So he's going to miss about at least two games. Saints is crazy. They started out 2-0 and with two blowouts. Whether they blew out Carolina and the Cowboys, a lot of y'all going to say Carolina sucked, but the Cowboys are decent. Then they lost two games, giving up points on the last drive, which if they defense would have hold down like statistically they are, they would have been 4-0. and And then KC, they was in the game the whole game, but they lost, but they should have covered that game. More with a story, they should be at least 3-2, and 4-1. And Instead, they 2-3, and three, and they're going to be without call for two games. So you do the math. X, where you at? Let's get this party started, man. I'm waiting for my man, X-Man the Hater, and we're going to talk to y'all, man. I hope everything's good. I hope everybody can hear me. And, you know, I hope everything's good, man. Let me let me read a couple of things. We went to Steve. We from Philly. Uh, John, yeah, yeah, you know, I like the Sixers, man. You know, they right there, they down to an exhibition game. But I like the Sixers to do well in the regular season. Man, let me see if I get my man, X-Man the Hater, in the building. Hopefully this goes real sweet. Tired of having issues. Isabel, salute to Isabel in the building, man. God bless, man. X-Man, what up? What's up, my brother? Can you hear me? I can hear you okay, just fine. Up. I can't hear you, so I got to plug it up. Oh, Jesus. Hello? I can hear you just fine, okay, brother. Okay, I can hear you just fine, too. We ready to go. Let me make sure I shout out Miss Isabel again. Thank you for tapping in to the Al York Sports Show. The more the merrier. X-Man, what's up? Talk to me real quick. You riding the whole day because Potato Head, I think I'm mad because I <laughs> gave you the baseball and he wanted to talk about the New York <laughs> Mets and talk shit. So now he butt hurt because I gave that segment to my man X. Do you believe it? Every, this shit? You can't make this good, shit up, man. X. Hey, listen, man. It is what it is, man. It ain't my fault, brother. I don't call the shots, brother. I well, bottom line, shots. listen, I would have been comfortable with either of you guys. But one thing I can admit, that X-Man, you more available than the potato head, man. And I, I'm keeping it real. <laughs> potato head goes MIA. He be missing for three, that, four brother. months. And then he comes back. But that's my brother, that. though. But, you I know, I got to go with consistency. Okay, let's you, go brother. real quick. Give you an update on this game. One yeah. zip dodges. Yeah. Top of the fifth inning, in, one out. Darvish Yamamoto, as presented, both dealing today. Yeah. Great game. Hopefully it can stay of this kind of magnitude of a game because I don't want to see nobody win by four or five runs. I want to I want to see a great baseball game, actually. Yeah, of and course, that's yeah. what we're getting right now. Definitely. But before Pitch we get cool. to that series, the Tigers have – had a chance to put away the Guardians yesterday. I'm not going to say they folded, because at least they took one out of the two games yeah. at Detroit, which they were supposed to do. Now you go to game five with Scooball versus Boyd again. Your take on game five. I I, I, I took the Tigers here, but um, this was a, a not a good loss, bad loss for the Tigers, because now they got to throw their ace in game five, which means if they advanced against the Yankees to the LCS, he's not going to pitch at least until game three. So right. it's a bad loss for them. But but I like now, the my, my, my saying, X, if you don't win today, there ain't no tomorrow. No, you're right. You're right. So you're you got right. to get in. Whether it's today yeah. or tomorrow, you got to get in because if you don't get in that game, there ain't no tomorrow after that. Yeah, no, exactly. And you got the Cy Young, Triple Cram, you got the best guy on the mound that hasn't yep. gave up and run it, Garl Long's hard long. And yeah. I think he went seven innings without giving up a run out. So, at Cleveland the last two, yeah. game. And, yeah, in game two, yeah. I, I like this matchup. I, I, I like I like that I'm still sticking with the Tigers here. Minus um, 132, by the way. Let me put that out there. Yeah. Minus 130 I, I, for the Tigers. I like the so Tigers the here. 
He shut them out the first time. Really, if you look at it up until the last game, the first game, the Guardians hit a lot. Next two games, they didn't do anything. Then they, they, they came back uh, the other day, got the win. But I still like the Tigers with Scooble on, on, on the mound. I think he's going to come out. He's going to pitch great like he usually does. He's going to shut those nasty, bats down. The boy is nasty, bro. Ramirez hasn't done anything in this series, and hopefully he's Hit not going to a big home run last tomorrow. game. Yeah, but he really hasn't done anything. And Brisky, really... Brisky, who's been yeah. lights out for Detroit, served fry yeah. fastball right down the middle. I didn't understand that, bro. Yeah, me neither. I, so I, I took don't him understand deep that. to take the lead, and that might change the yeah. series because if he it, doesn't it make that mistake, X, we're, talking, we're having a different topic right now. Well, I, I, yeah, I, I agree, but I, I still think the Tigers have enough to beat, them, especially with Scooble on the mound. They're going to have to – if the Guardians get a lead here, yeah, I'll be surprised. I, I I like the Tigers. I like their young hitting. I think Riley Green still hasn't hasn't come up. Right. Um. He, he he's he's bound to break out. Hopefully, this will be the game that he breaks out. Matt Veerling has been doing his thing, getting on base. Uh, the the bullpen hasn't been that bad. So Torkelson, Torkelson has got to start getting going too. To, yeah, Torkelson has to start getting going. But uh, I I like the bullpen. Uh, Foley has done his job as the closer. I, I think the and Tigers Vess, take Vess this. Vess is the be guy that's been game. dealing. Don't forget Vess. Yes, he has. He has. Vess is like the, game, he's the this main game guy. Actually, this game got moved up to one o'clock tomorrow instead of eight o'clock. Right. Because uh, they, they they don't want to they don't want to. There's supposedly some bad weather coming in, but uh, uh, Detroit's not happy about that. They were ready to play at eight. Now they got to worry about playing at one. But I don't think it's going to matter much. I think Scooby's going to come out, pitch a great game. He's going to shut them out. Tigers, Yankees, LCS Monday. Okay, I agree with you with the Tigers. I think Boyd pitched over his head in that game, too. Yeah. I think they get the boy early. You might want to do Tigers first five. That won't be a bad bet. Let's go yeah. to the next series, which is the present series right here. Yeah. Padres had a chance to close them on game four. They had the better pitcher. They had King, who's like the best pitcher. And yeah. the Dodgers threw a, a couple of a bunch of one inning, two inning pitchers in there. And somehow, some way, Roberts escaped with the Dodgers. And <laughs> yeah. I like that he put in that Brazer cat because I think if they would have put Nat, they would have smacked Nat. They would have yeah, smacked I agree. Nat. I agree. I think he threw them all by throwing that, that other reliever in there who, who, who basically would be like two innings of no run ball, which was huge for the Dodgers. And also, yeah. they was able to get the king. So now, if you're the Dodgers, if you're the Padres and you lose this game, you're banging your head over game four. If you're the Dodgers, yeah. you cannot have it better than this. You got your three hundred million dollar man out there, yeah, or whatever four hundred, whatever it is. Three hundred. And yeah. if you can't fucking win this shit, you know what I mean? Not that Darvish is chopped liver, because Darvish is not chopped liver, but you're supposed to win this game right here. And if they do, yeah. they'll move on to play the New York Mets, who, who are my next topic. Who me and you called them against the, the Phillies, beat them three to one. Mets move on. Let's talk about yeah. the New York Mets real quick. Well, I gotta give it to you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've been getting on you, telling you stop betting on my team. You jinx my team every time, but they've come up big. Listen, the Mets have. But been you know playing. that's cause you that's cause I mean it. If I didn't mean it, yeah, it'd be bullshit. Listen, I'm not a Mets fan. Let me make this clear on my channel on my show. I'm not a New York Mets fan, no, you're but not. I am a, a part-time gambler, and I yeah. don't bet with my heart. And what I seen out of the Mets, I'm not taking the Mets because of the Mets fans. I don't get along with half of y'all. Yeah, yeah. Yo, of half course, of y'all yeah. be talking mad shit. <laughs> it ain't the fans. It's this team is special. That's true. They don't quit, bro. To all the way to uh, Vientes. You got Marte yeah. out there looking happy. You got motherfucking a second baseman that came out of nowhere, thought that he retired and playing great ball for you guys. His glove's been exclusive. His bat's been exclusive. Yeah. And then you got Frankie doing his thing. Polar Bear starting to shine. And yeah. uh, Nemo needs to show out, though. No, Nemo's right. been you're a little right. bit on the bottom. He needs to show out. But your team, yeah. I can't front, bro. They're playing baseball, and I've seen it late in the season that made me feel like my boy Felix Jacino said. It's not the record you worry about. It's the hottest team going into the playoffs. I've been saying that myself for the longest time. Yeah. Listen, the last and the Mets are the hottest team. Years, and we've seen it the last few years. 
22, Phillies got hot in the wild card, went all the way to the World Series. Mm -hmm. Last year, Texas, Arizona got hot in the wild card. They met in the World Series. Texas yep. win. Listen, the Mets, they've been playing playoff baseball since August, okay, because they wanted to get into that wild card, get that spot. They've been playing playoff baseball since August. They played over their heads. Okay, they're playing they, with house money. You know what's they, that? Yeah, exactly. They're, they're, they're playing over there. Nobody heads. expected they, them to be nothing. They go, they go, they go take two out of three from Atlanta. They go to Milwaukee, win there. They go back to Atlanta, play that double header clinch in clinch. Then they go to Milwaukee, a team who had a great bullpen. This bullpen was supposed to shut this Mets team down. They lose in three. They go against the Phillies. The Phillies, another team, great talent. Great players all around. Harper, Castellanos, Ria Muto, Philly, Turner. Philly Mark, on a score sheet is way better than the Mets. Yeah. On score sheet. Aaron Nola, Zach Wheeler. Way Nathan better than the Mets. Morris, but the they Mets. Were way better than the Mets. Are hot right now, bro. They had a better bullpen also. This bullpen was supposed to shut the Mets team down. The Mets did to this bullpen what nobody could do to them. Now, they smacked them around. I mean, their ERA, their ERA at the end of that series was over yo, 12. Yo, I'm still trying to figure out why Jimenez. Threw a yeah. chop liver fastball right down the middle to Frankie. I, I don't understand that. My man, it was only like a 2-1 count if I was correct. You don't throw him 93 yeah. right down the middle when this guy's like second runner up to the MVP, bro. Yeah. You understand? I, I don't Sammy? understand. Listen, I, I, to be honest, I'm watching that game. I'm like, damn, Mets are going to lose this. They, the base is loaded the first two innings, and this guy gets out of it. That's 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 not good, man. You know this. If they was gonna the win in Philly going... anyway. I'm telling you right now. And, they yeah, was no, gonna I, beat. They I, was gonna I, beat Wheeler in Philly oh, anyway. Oh, they were they were gonna win in Philly. I know that for sure. I, I wasn't doubting that. But I was like, man, you can't leave the bases loaded two innings in a row and not expect Facts. to win. But listen, Jose Quintana settled down. He shut that offense down after they scored that one run. You had David Peterson coming, shut them down, and Edwin Diaz always makes things interesting. I know, God I know, damn I know, it. I know. Yo, I told, guy, I told man. my man Noah the other day. <laughs> I told my man Noah the other day. There's four great introduction songs yeah. to go in the game for a save, right? Yeah. You got Mariano Rivera. I think he got it's Metallica, man. whatever. Yeah, he got Metallica. Sandman. Sandman. Yeah, you know more than me yeah. about that. Then you yeah. got Broxton with the bells. Yes. Doom. Yes. Yeah. Doom. Yes. Then you got, um, who's the other guy? Uh, shit, I can't remember. But there was another guy who had, oh, yeah, uh, um, Hoffman. No, I, I said Hoffman. I think it's, um, damn, I can't remember the third guy, but I told Noah the best one, I hate to admit it, it's that Edwin Diaz shit. Oh, yeah. That Trump is <laughs> shit. And he said, yo, that's because you Puerto Rican. Yeah. And all Puerto Ricans <laughs> like that shit. Well, I said, ain't got nothing to do with that. It's a good I entrance. said, that shit is fucking dope, man. I love when that shit it's come on. It's a good entrance, but I still, I, I would still prefer Mariano's Enter Sandman by Metallica. That one was just, man, that, that thing, so you knew it, man. As soon as you hear that little bit coming, oh, here come, here he comes. Enter right, Sandman right. is the shit, brother. <laughs> right, right, listen, right. I, I, I love, I, I, I love the way the Mets are playing. I picked the Padres in four. That didn't come true again, but I think they're going to win tonight. Listen, it, Yamamoto's pitching his ass off right now, but eventually, you know, Tatis been on fire. Machado's getting hot. You know, uh, Jackson Merrill has played great defense out there. Um, Yo, know, but uh, a, 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 Tatis had a, a chance there. there. Base, pro far, Tatis pro far, had a chance there. First yeah. and second, 3-1 count, double yeah. play. That was kind of huge. This uh, is uh, a yeah. I, I like game. I, Listen, I this is a game, though. Win. This is a game. You're not going to get a lot of opportunities. It's yeah. not like the other game where they're scoring 8, 12 runs a game. Well, this is going to be a dead under. What's up in the Dodgers now? Mookie is hot. Mookie's hitting. Mookie Betts. Mookie Betts is hitting. Um, these guys, Will Smith is hitting now. Right. Uh, you know, Sh Shohei has been up and down. He hasn't really done much since game one. But he's been getting on base other ways. So, you know, it's going to be a tough game. But I, I still think the Padres pull off a close one. Okay. In the end. Yeah, I'm going to say the Dodgers win. It's just so much money on the Padres. I gave out the Padres yeah. on our talk. But we're yeah. talking right now, me knowing that, that the sports books need the Padres to lose because there's tons of money yeah. Oh, yeah. on the Padres. Yeah. And when it was 14-1x yeah. in the middle yeah. of the season, I found out that tons of money. So me kind of knowing how this works, it's not mandatory, but yeah. I don't like it. And then what I'm seeing now, I'm really not liking it.
Yeah, I hear let's you. Let's move on, you. though. Let's move on. My New York Yankees handle their yep. business like they were supposed to. Yep. Minus 220 versus a tough, young Kansas City Royal team led by Salvador Perez. Talk to us real quick, then we're going to move on to uh, the NFL. The Yankees did what they had to do. They came in. They were the better team. They had the better pitching, the better players. The Yankees did what they had to do. But thank God for Giancarlo Stan, who's been coming up big in these playoffs for them because up until yesterday, Judge hasn't done shit. And I'm hoping now you know, and you know, I'm a, done I'm, shit. And, and I'm a big supporter. But he had a double yesterday. He had two hits yesterday. He got on base three times. I understand he's not hitting the bombs, but you need him to start somewhere. And yesterday's game was a good start. You know, I'm a huge supporter of Judge. And I agree with you. He doesn't listen to me. And I, and I think as a Yankee fan, I think you'll appreciate this. If you're going to be a legend on the Yankees, you got to come up big when it counts to most. Ex, can you, speak, not can a you please go to Noah's inbox and explain <laughs> to him what the word clutch means? Because he said the word clutch doesn't exist in baseball. Really? It doesn't? And this is my partner who I love dearly. But all because I love him doesn't mean he understands everything I know. It's just like my wife. Me and my wife don't get along on everything. We, a lot of things she see purple, I see red. But you need to tell him what the word yeah. clutch means. Listen. Because right now, know. this is the playoff. John right. Carlos is hitting like the way he should be hitting. That's right. Listen, now, Carlos John, been not. stealing money from us since Derek Jeter made that trade. But you now. know what? Last couple playoffs that he's been able to play, he's been hitting. He's been so hitting, that yeah. that counters back into the money he's been stealing. So he's paying some of that money well, back. Stanton, Stanton, if, if not for Stanton, I, I wrote this earlier. If not for Stanton, the Yankees would have lost these last two games because they're not hitting nothing. You know, Soto's getting no, on base. Been a game five. They would have took the game five that and probably game had five. to win. Yeah, that, yeah, but what I, you're I, saying I, is I so. he made it I with now. So. We don't have to even yeah. go to game five. Yeah, exactly. Listen. To be a Yankee legend, Judge has great numbers in the regular season. But in order to be a Yankee legend, right or wrong, you have to perform when it counts the most. You got to hit, man. Yo. That's the players. Derek Jeter, Mickey Mantle, Reggie Jackson. No, 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 no. Let me hold you back. Those guys. Let me hold you back. Those guys perform when they had to perform. Hold on, hold on. Let me hold you back. This old man man yesterday told me, he said that Judge is choking like Reggie. Reggie never choked. Reggie. Hold on, hold on. Hold up. No, he said he hit 200 in the playoff. You can look it up. But what I told the old man, what I told the old man, Reggie won the World Series by himself with yeah. three home yep. runs in against one game, three yeah. pitches on the first pitch. Yeah. If that's not yeah. clutch, bro, I don't know. Now, he probably didn't hit for average, but he hit some key home runs. Well, I need to see something from Judge. Not like that, but show me something, bro. At listen, least Reggie showed us that when we beat the Dodgers. Well, like I said, yesterday he, he got on base three times, two hits. So hopefully that's the start of something for him. You right. need him to start somewhere. Somewhere. You know, a double, a single. That's good enough. He's not hitting the bombs, but eventually he's going to get his swing. And I think this ALCS, I think he's going to break out. He's going to have a big series to me. He's going to so, have yeah, I, to, dog. He's going to have to because he, yeah. we can't win without him. I, I'm not counting on Stanton to replace him. He did it one series. Yeah. It's not going to happen all the time. I'm thankful to get anything out of Stanton right now, dog. Well, listen, the, the, the thing is this. The Yankees impressed. You know, Cole did his thing. Clark Schmidt did his thing. The starting pitching did their thing. Their bullpen looks great. Luke Weaver, the closer. Yep. I like that. I like that setup. So uh, the Yankees, they, they – Going to the, going into the ALCS are hot. Their pitching is getting better, so I, I like them. Whoever they play, they 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 got the easiest path to the World Series. They own the Central anyway, so it doesn't matter who still they play. You still got to win the games, though. You still got to win the still games. Still got to win the games. I I picked them to go to Look World Series. Look at Baltimore. Baltimore lose it to the Royals. You yeah. think that would? You think they were thinking that? Nobody. Yeah. You no, think no, you no, think you're right. The yeah. Astro thought they were going to lose two zip to the Tigers? Hell no, they didn't. That's but what listen, I'm saying. So anything's I, I, possible. But, yo, but let I, me I, say something before I forget, because you know I got that forget mentality. Yeah. What's all that, that noise, X? <laughs> Lower that shit, man. You fucking me up, man. Yo, I don't, you don't hear my shit. I be lowering my shit. Right, man. Sorry. Sorry about that. 
You don't know. Um, listen, yo, I, yo, ex, you got my focus <laughs> for a reason, my nigga. You can see that shit. But listen, let me say this before I forget. A lot of people been dogging Clay Holmes. Yeah. Let me, let me tell you something. He was never a closer. We made him a closer. And he yeah. went to no, an right. all star game closing. But at yeah. the end of the day, he's not a closer, X. And when you're not something, X, you know what happens? You eventually get exposed. Yeah, you do. I know you're right. You're absolutely tell you right. right. now, that guy's important in our bullpen, dog. You, well, you put him in, you put him in the third inning. inning. You could yeah. put him in the fifth inning. Yesterday, he came in the eighth, ate that in and up like it was nothing. Yeah. He ate it up so good that I almost wanted him to come out in the ninth. But Luke Weaver, you got to put Luke in there 16, 17 straight scoreless innings. But I got to back up Clay Holmes because yeah. a lot of people were trashing him. Trashing no, him. You're right. You're right. I mean, you know. Rightfully, 13, 13 blown saves. That's a lot of blown saves. But he's not, not, not a closer. So, you put yeah, him, so, yo, X. I agree. If they're going to put X, you, what position you played in sports? Uh, I usually pitcher and first base. Yeah, if they put you on third base, X, you can't yeah. expect all year to fucking hot the hot glove over there. That's not your position. No, it's not. It's not. He's not a it's closer. Not. He's a converted closer who got yeah. burnt out. You notice how he's no, I agree. pitching now? He's pitching now real good. He's yeah, not he as is. good. Yo, when you get the ball for three outs, it takes a certain amount of guts to go out there. And it's he a different had mentality. it early. But once his, what happened once they took away his confidence? He was shot after that. He, uh, well, it's a different mentality between a closer and a setup. Yes. So, That's what I'm saying. He was confident yeah. early. Then they took away his confidence, and he couldn't get a motherfucker. Like Yo, that. he couldn't even throw a strike, X. I like but now look at him. Thing. He's coming in. Yo, Clay Holmes is perfect for how we using him, my brother. Any last words before we move on, bro? Uh, I, I agree with you. I took the Yankees to go to World Series. I still got that pick. I like the Luke Weaver being the closer and stuff. He's got. I think his stuff is electric. Um, you know the Yankees. I think the, the ALCS. I, I, like I said, they got the first two games. I, I like the Yankees. I think they're going to go to World Series. I, Mets, you know, depending who they play, but I, I listen, I, I'm. I don't know I, why I, you going for the I'm Padres. I don't know why you going for the Padres. You should be going for the Dodgers. Well, I'm highly excited. But I, think the, I think the I think the Mets could beat the Dodgers. <laughs> the Mets Padres, could be either one. Listen, I think the Padres Mets could be don't. One. They don't have a championship, X. Yeah. X. I rather, if I'm a Mets fan, I would rather get a team that chokes every year. Than <laughs> Play well, a team that's well, fucking hungry. We don't, we don't Yo, the Padres are because, hungry. I, I, I still think the I still think the Dodgers are gonna find a way to choke like they always what? do. It's well, the LA be against special, the Mets. Brother. Yo, if they play the Mets, I'm giving the Mets out again. It's the LA. But special. if they play Listen, the Padres, I might shut the fuck up. I'm excited of another possible Subway series. So let's go. Let's right, go. Right. I'm ready for either one. I'm I'm ready for either one, brother. <laughs> okay, let's move on, X. I don't want to overkill. <laughs> I just I wanted you. to make sure we got enough baseball yeah. out there. Would you agree we did that? I think we did that. I think we did that pretty well. Okay, brother. Let's move on to the NFL. A lot of hungry NFL fans. We're going to games of the week, X, where we kind of – we don't give a free play. We kind of give a, a lean. Yeah. A lean doesn't mean a free play. Kind of what we're feeling, but it yeah. doesn't consider as a free play. Okay. We go okay. to Baltimore. Ooh. We got the 4 on one Washington Commanders. Yeah. Versus the three and two Baltimore Ravens in a big game in Baltimore because everybody gonna find out what the commanders are really about in this game. Yeah. Yep. The line is six and a half for the Ravens at home. Yeah. Talk to us. Ooh. I, this is the game of the weekend. I like this <laughs> game, man. The battle of the beltway. <laughs> uh Jaden Daniels, all he has to do is look across the sidelines. He's going to see Lamar Jackson, the same, you know, same player, better thrower. Um, I, I, I like the commanders here. I like their offense. I like their defense. I'm not too impressed with this Ravens defense. They give up a lot of yards through last, the air. And last time I and, heard and, that, they shut the Bills down. Well, yeah, that's one game. But they've been giving up a lot of yards through the air and getting a lot of runs, you know, a lot of runs on them. I, I'm still skeptical of this defense. I mean, you still got Lamar Jackson, so and, and Derrick Henry's running the ball. 
Like, right, like and you're right because Joe Burrow, five Joe Burrow ago. threw for five touchdowns against them, and they should have exactly. beat him. Exactly. They should have beat him last week. Uh, you know, you got Derrick Henry running the ball like he was running the ball five years ago. He looks rejuvenated. But I, I like the I like the uh, I like the Washington Commanders. I think their pass deep, their pass yeah. offense is gonna light it up. Jaden Dan's gonna light it up through the air. He can run. He, he's gonna give them fits all day. And I think this this uh, Washington defense is gonna get in that backfield. They're gonna they're gonna do all they can to stop Henry. They're gonna do all they can to get to Lamar, make Lamar throw that ball because he still don't have great receivers out there. He's got Andrews that he can go to a safety net, but. I like no, the they got good receivers, here. X. They got they, Aguilar. They, 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 they yeah, got they, they Bateman. Do. They, do. they got they, Flowers. Now, they got good receivers. I'm, I'm, I'm going to disagree I, with you on that. The, the, I still think they need that two number one, which, you know, where Devontae Adams can come in and help them yeah, but and be flowers, that two number flowers one. Is they, flowers, flowers is nice, Flowers is good. Dog. Flowers is good. Yeah, I don't I, think they need a receiver. What they need is to add more on their defense, X. They score in the rock. And you got your I running mean, back. You need yeah, that. You just said it. You just said they defensive suspect. Go yeah. get a Crosby or somebody that might want to well, be out of that, fucking yeah. Las Vegas. Everybody wants out of Las Vegas. By yeah, the way, go just get a Crosby. <laughs> but I, I think, I think I, the I, Ravens. I, I think the Ravens find a way to win. But I'm not going to go okay. against a team that's as hot as Washington with yeah. six and a half points. I just yeah, won't be I able agree. to do that. I so I agree with you. But I don't think, I don't think Washington this wins. This is going to be a they keep really close. close game. This is going to be might a close be, high might be a game. blowout. I mean, it might be. It might be. Too overwhelming for Daniels, and they get blown yeah. out. I can see that. Be, yeah. But I'm hoping that he's not overwhelmed, and I'm hoping that he stays in the pocket, does his thing. Don't get intimidated by Lamar, and do your thing. Yeah, I agree. Because if he's watching but... Lamar, and then, you know, he yeah. gets intimidated, like, that's the guy I'm trying yeah. to beat. No, go in there knowing to beat that motherfucker. You I feel agree. me? I agree. I that agree. goes back to confidence. Let's go to game two. We're going to Las Vegas. Oh. Oh, As the geez. Pittsburgh Steelers three and two versus the three, the two and three Las Vegas Raiders, the line is minus three for the Steelers. Talk to us. Perfect game. I like the Steelers here. Their defense, you know, we know about their defense. Justin Fields is playing great. He hasn't turned over the ball. They don't score a lot of points, but but this is a perfect game for for Pittsburgh to go and see, you know, what they can get for Devontae Adams. Also, this is a team that really needs a deep threat, a, 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 a receiver like Devontae Adams to open up that offense. They're going to run. We know what they're going to do. Justin Fields going to cut loose. Does anybody want to play with the Raiders now? That, that's my thing because I don't know if they got anybody that wants to play with them. I mean, this team is is just, ah. Uh, you're going to be bugging out when I tell you this. Because I, but I, I like the Steelers here. I, I think they went big here. I think their offense breaks loose. But like I said, this is a perfect time for Pittsburgh to go in, talk to the Raiders, see what they want for Devontae Adams to get them in uniform for next week or a couple weeks and stuff. Right. So I, I, I like the Steelers here. I think their defense is going to dominate. Justin Fields is going to break out. This is a big win for them. Just remember this. It's going to be a close game. Okay. It ain't going to be no Steeler blowout. I'm telling you right now. It's going to be a close game. I'm not going to say Steelers should win. That's the obvious. But I think the, every time the Raiders – Lose a game or get embarrassed, Pierce gets them in the next game to show up, bro. Why have okay. Carolina blew them out? It came back, beat the Browns. Yeah, you know that well, they the always when they lose, they'll come back and they'll show up. That's yeah. the deal. And I, this is their chance to show up. Now, do they win or not? That's another question. And plus, they start they, they start in uh, what's his name, O'Donnell? Uh, I don't know who's starting for quarterback. Con O'Connell. No, O'Connell started. Uh, okay. Yeah, they already okay. said Mitchell sitting down. They started O'Connell. I think that favorite Steelers, because he's still like a rookie. Yeah. And you don't want to put like a rookie against that defense. No, you don't. But TJ Watt and company. Okay, let's move on. Two and two LA Chargers versus the three and two Denver Broncos. The line is minus two and a half for the Chargers. Talk to him. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, Chargers are, I believe, they're coming off a of bye week. I think it is they had. They're mm -hmm. coming off a of bye week. Um, I like Denver here because I like their defense. Their offense, not so great. But, of course, we got the Chargers. Who, we know what Jim Harbaugh is going to do. He's going to give the ball to his running backs. They're going to run 40, 50 times. He's not going to pass a lot with Justin Herbert. He's going to try to protect Herbert usually them. does pretty good over there. He does. He, does, he moves the ball over there. I mean, they lost yeah, their last three. He, they lost their last three matchups over there. Yeah. Both. 
two of them was Herbert was benched because they clenched already. He played yeah. a little bit, then they took him out. And then the next well, one, Stick started. It's so a, I don't it's know a if different... you count this shit. Yeah, I don't know if you count them over three because Herbert only played one of the games out well, of the three. The, uh, well, we know Harbaugh's going to run the ball, so he's not going to throw a lot. So we know that for sure. He's going to run that ball. It plays right into Denver's defense because that's what they like. Right. They have a good run defense. They have a good secondary. Um, I like Denver for their defense. You know, I don't like their offense too much. But I think this is going to be a, a close defensive battle because the Chargers' defense is not that bad either. They're pretty well, good. Well, Bo Nix, Bo Nix starting to look he like a little to, bit yeah, of Bo Nix for the Oregon Ducks. I didn't see that early. He is. I was he like, what, 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 what you do is out here? That's not the guy I know. But Nix is definitely stepping up. Another QB that a He's lot of people, better. a lot of He's another QB better. that people are saying is better than Caleb Williams. So Jalen Daniels yeah. right now is definitely above him. They also saying Bo Nix is above him, but that's just another story. Okay, yeah, so that, who you like in this game? Doing. Who you like? I like Denver in a defensive battle. I kind of agree with you. I like the points too. Two and a half, three point. There might be a one point, two point game. Yeah. Denver plays a lot of that, them style kind of ugly games. And I think yeah, it'll be do. something similar to that. It'd be like 2018, 14, 13 type of game. And if you got the three points, two and a half, you're good yeah. to go. Okay, this to me, the game of the week here, you got the Detroit Lions three and one versus the three and two Bozos, the <laughs> Dallas Bozos, which is my team. And the line is minus three for the Detroit Lions okay. on the Sunday night matchup. Talk to us. Uh, why you do this to me, man? Well, we always got to talk about the Cowboys. Can we go one week without talking about Ain't no other season? good games, man. I mean, <laughs> the Eagles are 10-point favorite against Cleveland. My boy Philly <laughs> Kid saying they should win. I mean, Philly I'm Kid, going... you're on a bye week. And if you can't beat Cleveland, you shouldn't be in the NFL, man. Yeah, you, you should, yeah. Well, you should trade the whole team for that matter. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 this is going to be a high-scoring game. Um, I, I'm going with Detroit. They're explosive offense. We got Ooh, yo, Ooh, Ooh's real active today, man. I like that. <laughs> we haven't had Raul active in a long time. Keep it coming, <laughs> Raul. Yeah. I, I, I like the Lions. Uh, listen, number one rushing attack in the league. Uh, the explosive offensively through the air. Dallas, we all know what their problem is. They can't stop the run. And you got Jameer Gibbs and D uh, David Montgomery. They're going to run that ball right down the middle. No Michael Parsons. No, uh, 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 who the Marcus? Uh, the Marcus they got a couple Lawrence, guys hurt, man. They got a couple guys hurt. Is Parsons, and, and, Parsons still out? I, I believe Michael Parsons is not playing this game either. Okay, I gotta I look that up. Out. I didn't get that information. I think it's his ankle still from the last time right. they played. Um, uh, and, and the secondary is not that great. I think that Jared Goff was 18 for 18, I think, last time we saw him play, and he's gonna light them up. Uh, the, the, the only saving grace for the Cowboys, Dak Prescott comes to play. <laughs> That I'm still suspect about that Lions defense, although their pass rush I'm not, but their secondary, their run defense, but the Dallas doesn't run the ball. That's the problem. Dallas nah, doesn't don't, run the ball. Dow, though Dow's been doing yeah. all right. Um, nah, he did. He, he did good against running, the Giants. Yeah. Like Ezekiel Elliott is not getting no touches. Yeah. You know what I mean? Deuce ain't getting no touches, well, they, but they, though they, Dow's they, catching they, the ball, running they, the ball. Cowboys are still on the bottom half at running the ball. Oh yeah, yeah. They that, don't have a and, true and that, number one running back. Yeah. I agree. I, I like That's the why they have to get Derrick Henry. Not saying they would have been winning with Derrick Henry, even though they, the Dallas are still three and two. But well, I think I they could have probably been four and one well, with Derrick Henry. My brother's a Cowboys fan. He told me, uh, from what he tells me, uh, they're activating Dalvin Cook from the practice squad. But they're gonna have so, to get something because so I like Dalvin, like but be he's playing not this week. Though Dalvin's not a number one, but Cook, Cook no. is like old too, but. At least Cook can help him out the backfield, catch a couple runs. But you see, Cook couldn't keep his job in Minnesota. Wherever else couldn't he went, he keep his job with keep. the Jets. Yeah, he so, you know, so obviously he ain't he, – either he falling off or he's just not doing what he's supposed to do. But who you like? You like the, the Lions in this contest? I, I like the Lions here. I, I, I think this game is – I know it's in Dallas, but I like the Lions here. I okay. think they win. Okay, I agree with you. Let's move on. We're running out of time. I didn't – see, when you having fun – it just goes yeah, quick. X. It does. Last it does. game, we going to Monday night. We going to your football Jets, MetLife Stadium, three and two Bills, two and three Jets. The line is minus two and a half for the Buffalo Bills. Quickly talk to us, Buffalo. 
Wow. After the nonsense, after the nonsense Aaron Rodgers pulled this week, getting the coach fired and everything, and now he's upset he because to do with it. he's full of shit. He's the same thing when he got. He's full of shit. He said the he same thing about Mike Le McCarthy. Floor. He almost got Lafleur out of motherfucking Green Bay too. Well, he got he got Mike McCarthy fired from Green yes, Bay. Yes, and he, he almost got thing. Lafleur. Yeah, and then yes, Green Bay exactly. didn't have that shit. That's why he had to go. Well, I, I, I'm taking Buffalo here. Josh Allen had a terrible game last week. Terrible game against Baltimore. He's bound to break out. Uh, the Jets defense is top notch. Listen, I got nothing against the Jets defense. That offense is terrible. They just took away the play calling duties from Nathaniel Hackett. He should have been the one that should have been fired, not Salah. But we well, don't know Salah why was about to fire him when that happened. Well, he, did you hear about that, that? Right? I, I, he was I about, about to that. fire him, and then he got fired. Well, well, his his uh, you know what well, they're the, telling me, right? You know who Hack his best friend, right? Of course, I know Hack is best friend. Why do you think Hack got the job with the Jets? Why do you think that he got the job with the well, Jets? Well, that's because of Aaron fight. Rodgers. Instead of him well, getting fired, Aaron Rodgers got that nigga fired. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm taking Buffalo. I think Josh Allen's going to have a big game. Two mediocre games the last two weeks. I think Allen breaks out here. I like Buffalo. Jets can't run the ball for shit. Aaron Rodgers looks like shit because he is shit. Right. So I'm taking Buffalo here. I don't even support anything Aaron Rodgers does. What is a tough game? Uh, Jets beat him last year, if I'm correct. Yeah, in uh, the first game of the year. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Buffalo's got two bad games. It's hard to fuck with Buffalo right now. They show signs in the second half at yeah. Houston. They kind of lost the opportunity of winning yeah. that game. So yeah. I think they might be turning it around. Allen had a kind of concussion there. They didn't take him out. We don't know what's his status. Yeah. But Bill should win, but I wouldn't be surprised if the Jets come out with new energy. Because when yeah. I seen the practice and they, they were playing music loud and you could tell it's, it's a whole different shit going on and maybe they could ride that good energy something that i know you want to hear yeah even though you don't like well, aaron mean, listen but that's your team though it's gonna be the, it's gonna be that defense so if that defense shows up and i think they will show up it's gonna be a very tight game but i'm still taking buffalo here all right let's go to uh, i mean let me uh, choose honest, one and wide. Aaron Rodgers but, hasn't shown me anything yet that he can turn this offense around. Okay, let's go to choose, couple choose one and wide. And I got the free picks and I got the spin. So we way behind, X. I got you, brother. We going for the first five years of their career. First, Do you understand what that years. means? First five years. I got you. First five years. Starting pitcher, Dwight Gooden, a.k.a. Dr. K. Or Randy Johnson, a.k.a. The Big Unit. Who and why? Blue cheese. Tough one. I'm gonna go with. I'm. Uh, it's a tough one. I'm going with the doctor, Doctor K, Dwight Gooden. Came up. Uh, what was it? 80, 84, dominated the league. Eighty five was probably one of the best years a pitcher will <laughs> ever have in baseball. Won the Cy Young. We don't know what he did in eighty six, eighty seven, eighty eight. Doc Gooden was as dominant a pitcher those first five years in the league. It took Randy Johnson a while because we all know Randy Johnson started in. Montreal, but he was wild. He wasn't the Randy Johnson we got to see later on in his career. Great he point. He was always wild. He wasn't know, pitching. A, he, he was a thrower. Yeah, he was and a thrower. Gooden, throw hard. Even though yeah. Gooden threw hard, Gooden was pitching, bro. Yeah, great pitcher. First five years, Gooden was the best pitcher that Uncle in baseball. Charlie, that Uncle Charlie was sick. A lot of yeah, people would say. A lot of people would say Johnson because they don't they don't have the knowledge of the beginning of Doc. Yeah. They think the Montana yeah. doc, you know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah. the beginning doc was through the roof. So we agree. Yeah. Let's move on, X. I'm not yeah. trying to cut you, but we don't have a lot no, of time. No, we got you. We got you. We got linebackers against the run. Hear me linebackers out. Linebackers against the run. Linebackers okay. against the run. Okay. You got Mike Singletary, a.k.a. Samurai Mike, or Ray Lewis, a.k.a. Ray Ray. Who and why? That's a good one. Um, well, neither man was extremely, uh, much of a pass rusher. I'm going to go here with Ray Lewis. Um, he turned that Baltimore defense around for a long time. He was the face of that defense. I love Mike Singletary, especially that 85 Bears defense. Love Mike, but I'm going to go with Ray Lewis, man. He was the face of that, that organization for the 20 years he was there, two Super Bowls. I mean, a lot of running backs didn't get past him, and he laid them out when he had to. 
So I'm gonna go with Ray Lewis. I'm gonna go here. Ray Ray. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Mike Singletary, who's also a a quarterback out there, just like yeah. Ray was. Yeah. Mike Singletary was like the best against the run. Ray got a lot of his game from Mike. Now we said all around linebacker, Ray Lewis was better hitting the guy that, that catches the ball. Yeah. Mike didn't really get the guys that caught the ball. Ray was getting to them, especially the running backs and the tight ends yeah. coming out the backfield. But yeah. just against the run, I'm going with Summerai Mike. Okay. That's why I well, set you it can't up go wrong like that one. for you. That's why yeah. I set it up like that. Because Ray Ray was too easy to take him all around. I said yeah. against the run. Okay, let's move on. You need one yard, baby. One yard. I got one you. yard and the game is over. Who gets the ball for you? John Riggins, a.k.a. We Go Ranger. Or Franco Harris, a.k.a. Franco Horace. Who and why? <laughs> That's Penn a tough State, one. The Penn State legend, Franco Harris. <laughs> <laughs> a lot I, I, of people I, don't even know who that is. No, they don't. They really don't. The man with if the If I told Noah Parker that Noah Parker would be like, you an old motherfucker, you feel me? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, listen, I, I, I love both of them, man. I love both of them. But uh, I'm going to go with the battering ram, John Riggins, man. That man, Ooh. you give him the ball up the middle, he's running you over. I love, right. don't get me wrong, I love Franco Harris. But Franco Harris is more of a, of a speed guy. He was a big back, speed guy, can run around you, can run through you. But I'm going to go, if I need that one yard to win the game, tough yard, touchdown, I'm taking John Riggins, man. He will, he will, he'll maul you. Right, right. He, he'll take right. you and he'll run you over, no problem. So I'm going with Riggins here. If I was going with who I'd rather have on my team, I'm going with Franco. Yes, definitely. Mac, good reception. Yep. He can block. Everybody loved yep. him. But if you need one yard, I'm going with Rigo, Rigo Ranger, man. I'm yeah. going with motherfucking John yeah. Riggins, man. That motherfucker was a horse. He used to kill my Cowboys. Third and one, <laughs> that motherfucker get like 30 yards on us. Yeah. yeah. Every time we stack the line, he break right through that motherfucker, get about 30, yeah. 40 yards every time. Yeah. So we agree with that. Now, last but not least, I who gets you. the ball for you game seven? Who gets the game Greg seven? Greg Maddox, okay. a.k.a. the Mad Dog. Or Nolan Ryan, a.k.a. Ryan Express. Who and why? <laughs> wow. I, I'm going here with the professor, the mad dog, the position king. I'm going with Greg Maddox here, man. That guy could cut the corners like a, like a surgeon. I, I, don't get me wrong. I love Nolan Ryan. The guy pitched high level his whole career. But if I need the game seven win, I'm going with Greg Maddox, man. Greg Maddox knows how to pitch. Greg Maddox can eat those corners all what day. Else? And there's Tis. nothing you can do. So well, I'm going to I'm I'm disagree with, with you professor. again, and I'm explaining to you why. If it's the whole season, I'm going with Mad Dog. Okay. His style of pitching is for a whole season. And like you said, he's the spot champion. He hits it on the spot. Yeah. But, X, I'm the kind of dude, in game seven, I want some giddy up, X. Okay. I don't want that 88 <laughs> shit. I want that 95. Now, that's why I like Gary Cole, because okay. even though Gary Cole get hit, we know he could get in 95, 96. He got some yeah. giddy up. But that's he was in 99 last that night. Tom Glavin shit, it works. As you see, the Yankees got the Maddox in game six when we won that chip. Yeah. Throwing that, that, that corner shit, Joe Girardi, big-ass triple put them out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm not yeah. saying Ryan can't get hit, but give me that 90 plus. Give me that change up. <laughs> I'm taking Ryan Express all day. Yo, X, great job. You, We're running behind schedule. Any no last problem, words? Brother. It's on you, Thank, brother. Thanks for having me on, brother. I appreciate the time and effort. Listen, we always do the right thing. You we always already know. We give out. it to our people. We always give it There's no back. way. There's no way you watch my show and you're not happy with the results. Exactly, exactly. Because we giving them facts, and we giving them some shit they don't know about, and we giving it to them hard, no diddy. I no diddy. Let me get that out no there. No doubt. No doubt about it. We always do it. We always you do it. You already know. Brother, my I, guy. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. X-Man in the building, baby. Thank you Yo, very I gotta much. I got to send you. I had two acts. I got to get you some, some crispy shit. I like the New York shit, but I got to get you something <laughs> more newer. But I like that, though, because you keeping it rugged. Hey, listen, That's your style. Man, the beard, this, the lumber. You know what, X? I'm not even going to change you. 
You the, you got the lumberjack look. We're going to keep that for you. Because I need a lumberjack hey, on my show. So this, you're going to be this, Lumberjack X. This hat and my jet hat that I have, my wife gave this to me for one Christmas. So, you know. You got to keep passed, that. I got to keep that. I, I'm you never going to throw that. it out. So. Every once in a while, though, hit, hit it with a two for us, though. All right, my brother? Definitely. All right? Definitely. Okay, my I brother, you, brother. man. <laughs> Much love, baby. Thanks, man. You, my building. brother. I appreciate it. You already know, God baby. Bless. You know how we do it. God bless everyone. Thank you, brother. Likewise, X Man taking care of business like always. Free picks. Then we going to our spinoff. We got to get Raul back in the spinoff, man. Raul been missing. All right, let me go with the free picks. We going with Noah Parker first. Noah Parker likes Ohio State minus three versus Oregon. This is Saturday's college football. He likes Iowa. Minus three versus Washington. To me, that line is funny. Somebody's got to be out for Washington, but Washington just beat uh, Michigan. So I kind of like this. Something not right to make Iowa favorites. And last but not least, he likes Arizona State. No, 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 I'm lying. Arizona, not Arizona State. Arizona plus three versus BYU. Now I'm going to Al your free plays. We're going to take the commanders and buy them a half a point. Should cost you about 120, 130. Make them plus seven versus Baltimore. Plus seven. I'll take the hot team or the hotter team because Baltimore won two in a row. Commanders have won three in a row. But nobody has been able to stop the commanders. So if you're going to give me a touchdown, I'm going to ride it. I'm going to ride it to the wheels fall off. Then I got a two-team six-point teaser. I like bringing the Jaguars from plus two in the London game versus the Bears to plus eight, two to plus eight. And we're going to take the Packer Arizona game from 47 to 41, and we're going to go over. So the two team six point teaser, Jaguars plus eight, Packers over 41 at Lambeau Field. And last but not least, two money lines. I know my man Philly kid's going to like this. I like putting the Lions on the money line with the Philadelphia Eagles money line. I just did the math on my phone. It comes out of minus 105, which means 55 wins 100. Uh, no, 55 wins. No, 52.50 wins 50. Let me say it right. And 105 wins you 100. So it's minus 105. Those are your free plays. Lock them in. Get this money. Let's do what we got to do. Now let's do the spinoff because I'm running out of time. Give me a minute. Good luck to everybody. B4 leaves everybody with seven wins. Chico Liston is right behind him with four. And when I say right behind, because he's been hot of late and he's gaining ground quickly. So you got B4 with seven, Chico with four, and everybody else got three, two, et cetera. Good luck to everybody, man. Let me get this mic in real quick. Great job, man. You know what? I ain't going to send him a new hat. We're going to name him Lumberjack X, man. That's going to be his AKA Lumberjack X with the wild fucking beard with hair and his shit. Lumberjack X with perfect form. Let's get it going, man. Good luck to everybody. Update Dodgers lead one nothing. bottom of the seventh. A lot of game left. All right, here we go. Good luck to everybody, man. Round six, giveaway one. Yeah, my man Potato Head, I think he was mad. Because I took him off the baseball shit. I think he wanted to talk that mess shit. I would have told him you could do it, man. Well, because I gave you the NFL doesn't mean you can't talk that shit. All right, here we go. We got to marinate it. We got to get Raul back into this, man. We miss Raul, man. Raul was blowing you for like five years every week. Then he ran through some complications, and I understand. 
But Raul, it's about time you come back, man. Your money heavy again. Come back, man. All right, here we go. On my go, if it comes out, no play. It's on my go, my go only. Winner is giveaway one, round six. Got a winner. Got a winner. Let me raise this up. Let me move it back. I know y'all can see it. Round six, giveaway one is number seven. Number seven. LESS, baby. LESS. Back in the winner's circle, baby. Salute to LESS. Now we go on to giveaway two, baby. Sess in the building. Give me a minute, guys. One man gang, man. I already told y'all. LESS in the building, baby. Here we go. Give away two round six, 21 through 40. Don't go nowhere. We got the summary and we out of here after this, guys. Summary and we out of here. Making sure every chicken in this motherfucker gets marinated. You know how we do it, baby. Ain't no cheating on my shit. I don't do that. I just sat that Brian been so hot. It's hard to explain how he wins so much, but there's no explanation. Motherfucker hot. That's it. Here we go. On my go. Comes down before us. No bueno. No bueno. Winner is. Giveaway two. Round six. Got a winner. Got a winner. Move it back. Giveaway dos. Round six winner is number 28. Number 28. The Philly Kid, baby. We got LESS and the Philly Kid back in the motherfucking shit. Just won a couple weeks ago, and the Philly Kid is back. Summary coming up, folks. Listen, man, I don't care who wins, man, but I it, I like to see, and I'm keeping it 100, man. I like to see people win that Harley win because it, it, it just, it, it, it makes it worthwhile for them or why they playing. You know what I mean? Because, like I said, my boy B4 got it where nobody want to play no more. Everybody like, yo, Brian going to win, Brian going to win. That's how much he wins. But listen, you can't be mad. You gotta, you gotta salute the OG. The OG been playing since day one, so it's only right he get all his love. And I'm talking about consistent. I'm talking about like COVID, all that shit. No job, still playing. So you expect a dude that been through all that, he's gonna get his fucking wreck. There's no way he ain't gonna get his wreck. And that's why all this good shit's happening in. But it just, it hurts because a lot of people scared to play because they're like, oh, he's going to win. He's going to win. So now when you get new blood, new blood is good because now that makes people know that anybody could win at any given time. Those are facts. Let's go through the summary real quick. Great job by X. Hold it down all by himself. We went through the whole MLB shit, the past series. Uh, Detroit still got a game tomorrow. Got the Dodgers. Padres here with the fifth game tonight. 
We took care of the Mets, Phillies, Yankees, Warriors, and now we can only wait to see who's going to play each other next. We have no, we got no for sure shit because either the Mets are going to play the Paz or the, or the Dodgers, and the Yankees are going to either play Cleveland or Detroit. So we don't have the factual who they're playing, so we couldn't really dap into that right there. We gave our games of the week, knocked that out. We gave out the re free plays, me and Noah Parker. Uh, all you Mets fans, y'all got to start giving me flowers. I called two series in a row for y'all. But I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not saying they can't beat the Padres because they could. But if I'm a Mets fan, I want the Dodgers. I think the Mets could get through that suspect pitching. Not that the Padres pitching is that much better, but they, they situated better. Dodgers got cats that just can't throw the ball. Bueller ain't really right. Bueller ain't right. Yamamoto's just coming back over injury. He's like the only one that really can shut shit down over there. You know, Padres got Darvish that can shut shit down. Cease that can shut shit down. Kane that can shut shit down. You feel me? So if you the Mets, you want the Dodgers. If they get the Dodgers, I'm going to give out the Mets. I, that's straight up. I'm going to make a video right before the series, and you're going to see me go for my 3-0 Three series in a row, New York Metropolitans. Thank you guys for another Friday. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you guys for playing the giveaways. We have more players this week. I appreciate it. I'm hoping Raul gets back, my other man gets back, and we get it like we supposed to. I'm getting my merch up again. We got the sick ball game shit. I got the game over shit coming in. You know my shit apply to life and sports. Everything, every game, every name I get has a double meaning. I don't just come out with a name without a definition for it. It's like a vocabulary word. You look up every word, it has a definition. My names have a definition. And with that, y'all niggas, hold your head. Thank God we got the winner, Sess L.E.S., the Philly kid back on the ball. TGI Friday, no drinking and driving. Hold your heads, y'all. Love y'all. Al York Sports.